We now want to look at the root hair cell. So the root hair cell. And there's a few things you need to remember. That shall shape. So there's the main body. And you've got this long projection. Now we're going to turn that into a cell wall. Because it's from a plant. And you've got your cell wall. I'm going to exaggerate the thickness. So that there, first of all, is your cell wall. That's the first part of the structure we need to remember. Now we're going to draw the cell membrane. So carefully, we're leaving a gap so we can clearly see it. There's your cell membrane. Carefully draw it all the way around. That is your cell membrane. So number two, there is your cell membrane. Cell membrane. Now you've got your genetic material in a nucleus. That's our third structure, the nucleus. Now, inside we have the vacuole. That there is the vacuole. Then inside there, we've got the cytoplasm. And finally, we've got these structures that we'll add. The mitochondrion. We'll call that number six. Mitochondrion. And these are responsible for the energy in the cell. Remember that there is no chloroplast because it's underground and there's no sunlight reaching it. So there would be no advantage to have a chloroplast. And that is our root cell, the main structure. So in summary, we're looking at the root hair cell so let's draw the main structure holding it all together a big thick structure and this is what you want to do just keep drawing it and keep naming it and the structure will go into your head so that's our first structure the next one is the what I call the plastic bag that holds everything in together. We've drawn it separated from the cell wall, but in reality it's pushed up right against it. And we call that the, then you have here your genetic material. And then there's that big bag of fluid with minerals and solutes inside. That is called, then you've got the liquidy part, the jelly inside. And then you've got these little units or organelles that are responsible for energy called the, and finally, one more point, is that root hair cells do not contain any
they do not contain any chloroplasts because there's no advantage, there's no sunlight underneath the soil. So remember, you might be asked to draw the structure from memory and label up parts. So keep drawing these, keep practicing these, and it'll hopefully become easy. Thanks for watching.